It's time for Nana's story time. Who is with me today? Who do I have? Do I have my grandkids of Ella and Cody and Jake? Do I have Olivia and Lainey and Claire? Maybe there's a there's a Marie or a Mary or a John or a Mark. I love to read stories to children. And today I have a new story. And it is called Pingo. Pingo and the Playground Bully. Do you know what a bully is? A bully is somebody that's not always very kind. And they kind of want to be in control and be the boss when they're really not the boss. But they like being the boss. So, this is a story. Let's find out about Pingo. In second grade, Chad often played with his imaginary friend, Pingo, during recess. Do you have an imaginary friend? My son Ian had an imaginary friend and now I'm just trying to remember what his name was. It, it, and he was very real to him. So Chad had an imaginary friend, and his name was Pingo. That's kind of an interesting name, Pingo. Several of his classmates had imaginary friends as well. Hmm. Maybe you have an imaginary friend. Gary protected the galaxy with the help of his robot, Sparky. Sparky was his imaginary friend. Now, Tiffany helped solve, save the day with Awesome Girl. That was her imaginary friend. And Dustin could hide Mr. Bob in his pocket. Look at that. He's down there. He's just just in little Dustin's pocket. That's his imaginary friend. Oh, look at all of this. Sometimes Chad and his friends went adventuring together. You know what adventuring is? That means going and having lots of fun making it happen. And they battled lunch meat creatures from the cafeteria. They must not have liked the lunch meat and the sandwiches at school. You see all those pictures and characters? I love the artwork in this book. The artist is very good and very detailed, and it's fun to look at the pages. Other times, they hunted the fierce yard duty Osaurus. What do you think the yard duty asaurus was? That was probably the teacher out at recess that made you kind of obey the rules because the playground always has rules so that it can keep everybody safe on the playground. And we have to have to open or we have to be obedient to those playground people. <gasps> well, occasionally they had to run from a bully named Jeremy. And his imaginary friend was named Grunt. That's an interesting name for an imaginary friend. Look at all those friends. They're just playing. And there's Dustin with his little Mr. Bob coming out of his pocket. And there is looks like the Mr. Bully. He wants to be in control because he thinks he's the boss man. One recess after defeating a clan of lava monsters, Chad and his friends began to argue about who had the best imaginary playmate. Sparky is best because he's the smartest, Gary declared. Awesome girl is the best. She's the strongest, Tiffany claimed. Mr. Bob is because he's the sneakiest, Dustin maintained. And Pingo is best because he is the coolest, Chad said. 
So there they are with all of their imaginary friends. They're not just playing with each other, but they're playing with their imaginary friends. Now the kids decided to hold a com competition to prove which imaginary friend was the best. Now Chad noticed that Pingo didn't seem very excited. Don't worry, Chad said to his friend. You can beat those guys. This is silly, Pingo said. Contests only prove who is best at certain things. We can't back out now, Chad exclaimed. They'll think we're scared. I'll try my hardest, Pingo said. So off goes, see all those imaginary friends. They're going to compete. Ooh, you see all those imaginary friends, the robot and girl. Sparky won the ro spelling and math competitions. Pingo came in second. Awesome girl, she won the athletic competition. Pingo came in second. Mr. Bob won the hiding and spying competition. Pingo came in second. It seems to me that Pingo is in second. He's almost th there. Our friends all won a competition, Gary bragged. It might take more contests to decide the true champion, but it looks like we already proved who is second best. That doesn't sound like that was a very nice thing to say. What is Pingo anyway? Tiffany asked Chad. He's, he's a mix of things, Chad said, and he's got the best imagination here. Then maybe he should have imagined better abilities, Dustin pointed out. Oh, that doesn't sound like that's a very nice thing to say. Just then, Jeremy and Grunt launched a surprise attack. Remember the bully? We talked about the bully. Pinning Chad and his friends into a corner. Uh-oh, doesn't sound like that's a good thing. There is Jeremy the bully. Here he comes. Why wasn't Grunt in the competition, Jeremy complained. He's obviously the smartest and the sneakiest because we just trapped you. And we'll prove he's the strongest when we pound you guys into the dust. Does that sound like that's something very kind to do? Mr. Bully, Mr. Jeremy the Bully is not being very kind. Now Chad and his friends were terrified. Sparky started to overheat and malfunction. An awesome girl flew off to hide and Mr. Bob slipped into Dustin's pocket. They're hiding. They're getting away from Mr. Bully because they don't want any part of Mr. Bully. Then Pingo, he stepped forward. We would have loved to have had you in the contest, Grunt. I bet you would have won the most of the medals. We can do another one next week. Right now, we're starting a new game. Want to come on an adventure down the Amazon River with us? Remember, Pingo has a great imagination. I've never been on a river trip, Grunt said. We could use your help, Pingo replied. It will be risky with giant snakes, native warriors, and rival explorers. But we might find the lost city of gold. Now, I think Pingo is kind of cute. He's standing right there beside Grunt, the bully. And there's the snake. There's a cheetah coming out of the forest. There's a little monkey up there in the tree. What are those? Oh, and there is some native warriors hiding behind the tree. That's what they might find on their river trip. 
really want to play with us? Jeremy asked. Sounds like fun, Grunt said. The place that can be the boat, Chad suggested. We'll go get the gear ready, Grunt and Jeremy offered. So there they are on the playground, and that's going to be their ship that goes down the river. Pingo, save the day, cheered uh, Gary. Pingo is the bravest, Tina shouted. And Pingo is the most fun, Dustin yelled. Pingo is the best, they all agreed. Thank you, but this is silly, Pingo said. Nobody is the best. We're all good in different ways and things, and that makes friendship fun. So let's go play. And so began a fresh adventure with a new friend. We're all different, don't, aren't we? We all have different capabilities. Some of us can spell really good. Some of us can sing really good. Some of us can run really fast or jump really high. But it's okay if we don't do all of those things because we're all special in our own way. And that's what Pingo wanted everyone to know that they were all special. And when they put it all together, they could play and have a great time together using each of their skills. So don't be the bully, be the friend and know that everyone is different and that is okay. And it is the way it's supposed to be and the way friendship makes it even better. We don't all want to be the same. We all want to be different so that we can get, contribute different things at different times. So don't forget Pingo and what he learned about the bully and that he didn't have to be a bully, and the bully learned that he didn't have to be. He could be just himself, just like everyone else. So that's my story of Pingo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day, and we will see you soon. Thanks for joining. Mwah.